Okay, I'll start lubricating up some of this stuff and assembling it, I think. I'll just put a very light wipe of molybdenum paste on these balls. That should be fine. Put them over their posts. Hook the spring in position. Okay, so that's good. Now this gear here, I'm going to lubricate that with a bit of synthetic grease, I think. I'll run some around the outside yeah. and some on those ratchet teeth. This should just drop in here like that. This plate. Must fit over those posts. And this should fit on the camera. So I'll run some synthetic grease around the inside of this cylindrical piece here. And some around the outside of that. Oops. Be a bit more careful putting it on than I was because I've just displaced one of those ratchet pulls, I think. Yes, I have. Yeah, this cutout here has got to line up with that piece there. Oh, I'll just put this on here like this. Let's do it on the camera. This isn't, this isn't working as well as I'd hoped. We'll do it on the camera. That's that. Put this piece in place. Make sure the ratchet pulls are not stuck underneath it. That's it. This piece goes on top. like that. This piece goes on top like that. We have this wavy washer. Which can go on like that. Well that's useful, at least that piece is in place now. I've got to deal with some more of these pieces that need to go back. Now we've got the connection down here that's got to go in and there's a connection up here. 
something else here. What's that? That's that wheel. That's held in with that bracket and that screw. So I better clean those. I'll just wipe, clean those quickly with some naphtha and pop those in place. Okay, so I've got that wheel all cleaned. I'll just put a bit of synthetic grease through the centre. It sits on there like that. And it's held loosely in place by that little tab and uh, screw here which also holds this side plate down now I don't know why they chose to do that normally where you would have a wheel like this sitting in something you would normally expect that it would have its own screw holding it down to the to the post but this must be the rolly way. Okay, that's good. Uh, what next? I think this piece up here next. Well, this next bit's a little bit tricky. I'll just put a wipe of synthetic grease through the centre of this. And this one, this bracket here, this piece at the end of the bracket has to come up through that slot. So if I hold this down, I can just about wriggle that under there. Like that. Fit that over its post like that. You can see that tab comes in under there. And we have a screw post with a spring on it now two springs here so I've got to figure out which one goes where I've got a little coil spring here which I'm fairly sure goes from that point to that point like that and this spring I think that end goes under there and the other end must hook behind something but what? Possibly that post as well. I'll need to check that. I think that the tail of this spring needs to hook over here somewhere. Possibly just behind that ledge. Right, I'm going to have to consult my um, photos and find out. I should have taken more note of this when I was taking the thing apart. Yes, I was right. It goes round behind that spring post there. like that so it's that piece in that seems to uh, do clever things stuff at this end next I think oh, a lot of point not much point pointing to things if it's outside the camera stuff at this end next gotta get this roller in place now there's a pin on the base of this, couples with that arm there. So I've got to get that pin in the slot. And just, this just sits down in the body like this. Now there's a spring that goes under there, but I think we can put that in second. Let's get these two screws in first. It'll keep this thing in place. Right there, just loosely in position. 
this is very sticky along here. I think it used to have a label on there. Unless it's just the tail end of some uh, film. Let's see if I can get this in position. Yeah, that looks easy enough. I can do that. And a single screw through the middle. If I can get that hole lined up. And that down lightly, get that squared up. That's good. Get the other two screws. Check that that's in place still, that's all good. I'll tighten those three screws up. That's that part done. And back to this face. Got this lever comes through. Can I get this all in place? Oh, that cover's come off. Get that back in position. This lever. Will that slide through there? Yeah, looks like it will. And that sits there like that. Got the pivot screw through it here. I'll put some synthetic grease around that uh, pivot shoulder of the screw. Tighten that up. There it has a return spring. return spring hooks through the arm here and over the post at the other end like that And I'll just have to check to make sure I've got that spring the right way round. Um, I may have it upside down. It may be better to have the open end sticking out. I'll have to check that. And I may have the long loop may have needed to be at the other end. So I need to check that and make sure. I'm sure it would work in that fashion. But it might work better somewhere else. And this little piece went in here. Alright, so far so good. Well, I just spent five minutes talking to myself there. Should really learn to press the, all the buttons on the camera. Okay, so this spring here, I've reversed it. So that the open side of the long part of the hook is upwards. And this side is just tucked in as it was there before, tucked down there nicely. So that spring's good. That jumps off all the time when I'm not looking. Need to get this gear in at the top, the frame counter stuff. Well, as you can see, I've got the frame counter dial and everything back in place. Now, something I spotted, which um, probably some of you spotted earlier too, is this piece here. I had this on upside down. It was sitting that way up, the rivets up. That was entirely wrong, of course. It should have been rivets down. And these little rivets actually act on these pawls and pull them out of engagement when it's moved the when this moves the other way. 
So that was a mistake on my part, and um, yeah, that was silly. That's life as we know it, I suppose. Anyway, that's back and that's all in place. Everything else is sitting here, pretty much ready to go. Now there's a little spacer washer come off there. That's it there, a shim. Now that's a chewed off shape. It's been cut to fit the side of the body there, where it fits into that recess. I'm just looking at the rest of it, seeing if I can spot anything that's not correct. That looks okay. It looks to me like that's ready to have the side plate put back on. Now the side plate of this camera where is that? Here is the side plate and I doubt you can see it in the picture but this is actually distorted. It doesn't sit down flat here on the table, this part is raised. And when I look across it I can see that it's distorted at this point. So I'm going to have to true that up. Almost inevitably what that is showing me there is damage, drop damage. The camera has been dropped at some stage and the film advance lever has almost certainly been pressed in at this point, forced in. If I looked at the top here I might be able to see a sign of that. I'd, honestly I can't see any dents here that would suggest that's happening. There is paint missing at that point, but I think that's just normal wear and tear. Anyway, I want to square this up, so I'll have to get this down on a piece of, <coughs> excuse me, a piece of wood or something, and then press this down. It's aluminium, it's um, probably about a millimetre thick. It's actually quite quite stiff. So whether that's work hardened or whether it's just the al the alloy that was used is making that hard, I don't know. But I need to get that all sitting nice and flush before I put it back on the camera. I've got that shim back in place there. This goes on here. This spring, the edges point down, the center points up. This needs to go on next. I'm going to apply a little bit of grease to the inside of this track here and at the top. I'm just going to use some synthetic grease. I don't think it needs much. That's keyed so it can only go on one way. And I can put the side cover on. I'm going to just clean this little window for the frame number one last time and I'll put this on place. You don't need to watch that part. Alright, this little spring washer arrangement is here. The two points in the centre point down. Make sure that any shims, washers that you've got are in place. I can see the one that I had here has now gone away. Got to find out where that's got to before I put the cover on. Now oh, it's here. This is a problem when you move things around on your bench. You stuff gets lost. Everything looks pretty good.
that cover down in place and there were five screws that held this cover in place from memory I was able to true up that cover okay at least it's better than it was The shim washers on your camera, if you're pulling, doing, pulling a camera like this apart, can easily be in different positions. They're almost certainly just designed to stop the side cover from rubbing on something that otherwise they were too close to. Let's get those done up. Film advanced pieces. Now there are two little sp spring spaces that went under there which provided some tension on this arm so that it didn't flop about in the wind. I have to find out what I've done with those. I might not be worth I don't need to put those in immediately, I suppose. No, they don't sit in any special recess. They don't need to go on before that cover goes on. So I've got the arm here, I'll just put a, this is not the uh, pin for the arm, this is a smaller diameter one that I happen to have lying around, which I think I used to punch out the original. I just want to put that on there and see if that, that moves correctly. It seems to move nicely. The ratchet mechanism works correctly. I'm just looking at the see if there's, any, there's virtually no clearance between this part and that aluminium housing there. I'm concerned that I might have pushed that out further than I needed to and so that that's now touching or rubbing. No, that feels fine. I was concerned there was friction between this piece and here but I don't think that's the case. Okay, well that's so far so good. That looks quite good. I think I can continue and uh, put the original pin back in place here. Before I do that I'll put the lug on here that holds the door and everything in place. This will have to come off again 
before I put the leather on but I want to see here in the meantime just so that the door is present and correct Oh, that's not sitting down correctly. That's better. Okay, so the door's back on. I'll find these bits. Right, these pieces consist of two leaf springs and two pieces of uh, some sort of hard plastic that obviously are there to reduce the friction. Those, if those springs were bearing against that chromed lever, they would certainly take the finish off it promptly. And here is the pin. It's not immediately obvious whether one of those sides is the... is reduced in order to go in easily. I'll find that out, no doubt. Okay, so let's have a look, take this off. Now looking at the disposition of these pieces, I would say that just dropped in there and had one of these little pieces on top of it. I'll clean these pieces up because they're a bit dirty and these springs in, in particular uh, show a little bit of corrosion. So I'll clean that off and put them in place with a bit of lubrication. Let's get these two little detent springs in place. A little touch of grease on the top of those. Right, and here's the lever. Well, let's just try that with the smaller diameter pin that I've been using for my testing. I can get this to go over. Yep. Yeah, that, that provides absolutely no tension, so that'll only obviously tension things when I get the correct size pin back in there. It's not fussed on leading in there at all. Neither's that in. What about from this side? Yep. Yeah. That'll lead in from that end. About the other way around. Alright. Oh, 
I left just the edge of this might be a bit burred. I'm just going to run over the edge of that with a uh, file to taper that down slightly. Well, let's see if I can do this. Going from that side. Just pressing that in at the moment with the tail of this pair of tweezers. It's not enthusiastic. I have to drive that home, in which case I need to support the other end with a block of wood or something while I press that in. Right, a block of wood. Let's try this. Done. All right, that part's on. No longer flops around in the breeze. Everything seems to work quite nicely. Oops. I think I can put the side cover on this side of the camera now because we're done in there as well. <laughs> 